Hello guys, it's Randomize is back with a new video. Today I want to show you how to fix the freeze issue of TGB or game loop. So, you know guys, it is uh, the emulator is buggy. Every guys, everyone knows that. So, so I will show you how to fix the freeze issue. You know that you guys know that what is freeze issue? It's the issue that is faced by the every gaming players of emulator while diving or while shooting someone enemies. We could face a freezing like again again around oh, 30 to 20 seconds or 5 to 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Around 30 seconds we can feel sometimes it may go higher also. So how to fix that? Let's see. So if you like the video, please press the like button and please subscribe and press the bell icon too. So let's go towards the video. First of all, we need to know how many GB of RAM we do we have in our PC or laptop. Secondly, we need to know the virtual memory and how many GB of virtual memory do we have currently in our PC or laptop. And thirdly, we need to know how to fix the issue of the freeze. So first thing is first, how many GB of RAM do we have in our PC or laptop? So let's see how to do check that. So in, uh, in our PC or lap desktop, go to this PC and in that uh, computer and in that list we can see system uh, properties. So we can see the specification and the details of the uh, PC or laptop. So in my case, I have i7 processor and 16 GB RAM. So in some other case, some people would, would have 4 GB to 8 GB or uh, 2 GB uh, or 16 GB or 32 GB. It's based on their specification and the power supply. So what? Secondly, what we know we to know is what is virtual memory. It's a memory that is being allocated by the uh, disk, uh, hard disk, and SSD. So we need to know how many GB of default. Allo uh, virtual memory do we have in my case I have 2 GB around 2 GB in some other case people would have 4 GB 6 GB and so and so so let's see how to fix the issue of the freeze issue of game loop and TGB there's uh, some calculation based uh, virtual memory setting so let's see how to fix that uh, virtual memory calculation and uh, how to uh, do that First thing is first, right click on the, this PC and go to properties. Secondly, on the right left corner you could see advanced system settings. Okay. Second thing we need to click on it and you could see many options like say, computer name something and we need to see advanced settings in that in that advanced option tab. Click on that and you could see performance so and so other in that performance press on the settings. And in that you could see advanced settings. In that you can see processors, uh, processor settings and virtual memory. So this is the main point, the virtual memory. In uh, as a default memory, I could have uh, something as two GB, but I have changed to some uh, other initial value of initial memory. That's now it's twenty four. It's been changed. So I'll tell you how to change the value uh, and increase your memory. So uh, let's see. Let's uh, press on the change button. When you click on the change button, you could see some partition of the di hard disk that is a uh, cd fca that is uh, so and so so we need to check click on the default uh, window disk uh, uh, disk and uncheck the automatic and go to calculator and in that we need to have some calculation that is the first of all we need to calculate 32 into 32 that's a binary code something uh, 32 into 32 that will uh, will get a calculation of around 1024 1024 I guess yes it's 1024 okay so secondly we need to do is as we know that we we got 1024 as uh, so we need to check our RAM value how much we do here yeah, in my case I have 16 GB so we need to into with this value uh, uh, into 16 so we'll get 16,000 something value that's our current memory value that means I have 16 GB RAM so I got 16 GB 16 something that's thousand value so if you in your case if you have 8 GB or 4 GB we need to calculate that as the same uh, same we need to change the number of 16 to 8 or 4 so next 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 thing we need to uh, find the initial value so to find the initial value you need to uh, type 1.5 into uh, the uh, 16,000 something value that we have got so we'll get 24,000 as the initial value we need to type on the initial value and the third thing we need to uh, is the uh, maximum value so we need to find the maximum value we need to uh, 
calculate with the initial value into 3 that means we will get the highest value of the ma and the maximum value of the virtual memory that is will we get around uh, 73,000 uh, something as uh, approximately 73,000 MB that is uh, 73 gigabytes uh, or GB so after all doing that just just press the set button and when you done a set button you will uh, need to close all the uh, open di uh, bo uh, dialog box everything press ok 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 and after that you need to restart your PC or laptop after restarting you will uh, you will get you will your old uh, virtual memory will be uh, reset to the new virtual memory that's around 24,000 to 73,000 that is around 24 GB to 73 GB will be allocated to your uh, virtual memory after that you can uh, open 3 GB or game loop and you can see the uh, change or uh, and uh, you can feel that there's no fr uh, freeze I have been doing I have done this because I had a uh, freeze issue long ago now I don't have that free issue because after doing this I have been playing well well I have done this uh, after that I have no issue on freeze after playing for several t uh, five to six games on classic and TDM also and if you like this video please press the like button and if you like to subscribe my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon and thanks for watching my video and thanks a lot and randomize is signing off Thank you and bye-bye.